This is the Real C Galois, a 3D LiDAR mapping camera designed to create ultra realistic virtual tours. But what if 3D tours could actually be quick, easy, and ready to share without hours of processing or complicated setups? That's what this camera promises, so I decided to put it to test inside my own house. As you'll see throughout this video, I'll walk through what's included in the box, how simple the capture process is using the app, and then show you the results of my first full home tour. So let's jump right into it. Now inside the box, you're gonna get the Real C Galois camera itself, a rechargeable battery, charging adapter, and a compact tripod that actually feels really solid. This thing's adjustable, quick to set up, and has a convenient quick release tab that makes mounting and removing the camera effortless. Now RealC also includes a nice soft backpack that fits everything neatly, making it easy to carry on location, plus a dedicated travel bag for the tripod too, which is a nice touch when you're bouncing between sites. Overall, the first impressions, it feels professional. The design is sleek, the materials are durable and the tripod alone gives off more of a survey grade feel than a consumer gadget. The backpack that's included with the camera is nice quality and doesn't feel like a cheap freebie that they just threw in. The zippers are great. It's dedicated to fit specifically the camera, has a couple hidden pockets down on the bottom left and right for additional batteries, etc. And the included carry bag for the tripod itself is also a little more robust than average with some nice padding. You can either carry it by the handle or an adjustable sling. All right, now that we've got everything unboxed, let's see how easy it is to actually capture a space. Now I started by doing a complete virtual tour of my home, beginning outside in the driveway and then walking towards the front door. I wanted to see how well the camera handled transitions between different lighting conditions and mixed environments. So this layout is really the perfect test. My house has a unique setup because there's actually a courtyard on the side that connects to a kitchen and a small foyer that leads to the stairs when coming in through the front door. So it was interesting to see how this thing stitched flawlessly I might add, between the driveway to the front entryway to the area between the garage, the courtyard, and the kitchen. Now let's get into how easy it is to do these virtual tours and 3D mapping, which both basically happen at the same time. Once you've downloaded the app and connected your camera, all you do is hit the scan button. Now the camera does its thing automatically in about 60 seconds. You'll want to hide yourself out of the way, but once it's done, it transfers the image to your phone so that you can view it in real time and that only takes an additional 20 or 30 seconds. But once it happens, you're instantly able to zoom in on the captured image, check it out in 360 degrees, make sure everything looks on par. And if you want to jump over to the 3D image and get an idea of what that mapping looks like, you can also view that too. Zooming in, zooming out, and kind of going through the different spaces. After that, it's pretty much rinse and repeat of just moving the camera along point to point along a normal flow path. However, it's both interesting and amazing how well this thing can stitch together images, especially once you start to cross over different thresholds such as indoor to outdoor or room to room. So for example, here you can see I took this image here with the front door closed so we get an idea of what it looks like from the front uh, curb appeal etc but as we start to transition into the house it needs to be able to link the footage from inside to outside so as we transition here now you notice that the front door is open this gives it the opportunity to stitch these two images together as well as the 3d mapping so that as we continue to go into the house which is the next step here it's able to link all of these images here together easily. Now, if this door was closed right here, it would give you an opportunity to do manual alignment. But if you want the easiest workflow possible, in my opinion, is making sure that you've got clean line of sight from spot to spot as you're moving the camera inside to out or from room to room. So another great example of this is just the main entrance to the house. You can see we've got an office space over here. The kitchen is to the right, and then we've got the living room. So if we come forward, you start to see the living room, but you can't quite see See it yet because we want a picture of the hallway here first. So where would the next steps be? I have one hot spot right over here. You can see we have more transitions into a back area, which we would eventually get to. But when you look at this at a glance, right, we've got the entryway, we've got the office back here, and there's actually a pass through over here, which is a wet bar. So I decided to have one right here, 
one right here in the middle so you can see the whole living room as a 360 and then we get over to this position right here which gives just enough insight into uh, my office to link all the pictures but stay connected to the living room area over here we transition back and forth and one of the other things you might notice is that we have a lot of mirrors in our house for some reason so if you don't want the camera to be uh, reflected or showing up you might need to get a little creative with that positioning but these positions all allowed me to link all the way through and and around and then obviously we transition into the kitchen here which is the last shot and then of course we could take that out to the courtyard which we saw just a few minutes ago in the video and everything links together nicely. Now one of the last few things I'd like to touch on would be image quality here and ease of use of bringing this all together here. Okay image quality high high def super crisp images you can see the wood grain right here and you also have this ability here to pinch in and zoom in and out but also it is a wide angle camera so if you're going to be in tight tight spots let me take you down to the bathroom really quick over here just so i can show you that is i put this in the bathroom because i didn't want to have a reflection in the mirror etc so if we zoom all the way out half time zoom right you can see everything clearly here now some people did complain that there's oh there's distortion around the corners of course at half time zoom we're doing a fisheye lens you should expect distortion no big deal but most people are going to be right here at 1x okay and then if you wanted to zoom in further you can easily do that it, it looks fantastic you can see that the pictures right here they are clear as day on top of that this whole tour came together easily once you're done shooting all your pictures and mapping everything out yes you just hit process and then it's going to do it for you and put it all together you come through here you click on this you've got a floor plan it's got measurements it's putting everything together automatically for you if you want that 3d modeling right down here like this you can also zoom in it's all done for you so there's a lot of different deliverables that you can deliver uh, and we're going to talk about that here in just a second but all i have to say is that as a newer user and test Testing this thing out it was very easy to get up and running within 15 20 minutes start walking the camera around and now you're ready to go so let's hop into the back end once you get everything uploaded and populated I'm not going to do a full-blown tutorial on how to edit everything but a lot of it is quite intuitive and straightforward if you've used something similar in the past okay so on the info tab straightforward you can put in your name for the project the address and introduction anything else that you might want to put in here as well as as well as selecting orientation your contact info, company, etc. Over here in the settings tab, this is kind of nice because you're able to set whatever you want for your initial view or for the floors and vertical view of a field of view right here, which is nice. So if you look, how far down can they scroll up and down? And what's nice is that it automatically fills in what's on the ground because obviously the camera would have been here uh, or straight up. So that's a nice little thing that you don't have to do any post-processing to fill in those gaps. So that just saves you time right there, which is great. Um, you can click over here if you want to change the skin for a particular display. Uh, the point style some people might want to change so when you jump from point to point you can see I got little circles up here but if you want a slightly different circle or feet you could change that even the colors uh, entrance over here you can choose this on how you want to see these two looks um, and if you want to add some background music they have some stuff that's preloaded in here uh, or you could add some of your own as well uh, hot spots this is a nice little touch so if you want to add certain things um, into this, whether it's text, graphics, video, audio, etc., like text, like this is a special tree that is fruit bearing, etc., or different things like that. You have that right here. Uh, the virtual staging is worth an honorable mention, which is kind of nice. So if you want to add certain things to certain areas, like, you know, um, maybe we want a, a couch. So if you wanted to add a couch, uh, to a particular room to st stage it and set it up right you've got these little handles here and you can move it left and right and all of that great stuff and then you can just save it there and uh, you know it's just going to look real because who doesn't have a, a couch in their driveway when you pull up but you see you've got a lot of options here you can put that type of stuff in there if you want to which is kind of nice then if we come over here to the adjust section if you want to blur out pictures things of that nature you can do that just click on the blur right and all you have to do is uh, hold down the right mouse button then you can blur out if you want to do it manually yourself or you could actually use AI which they also have an option for that too so if we save this we can come back and we can do AI portrait recognition and then that'll do it automatically and if we move over to the floor plan tab we can come over here and take a look at this which is nice so if you want to get a little more accurate 
right? Really filling this out with an actual floor plan. As you can come over here, you've got some different options between single doors, double doors. You can just press on this and you can figure out where exactly you wanna put those, right? And then have all the different changes that you need to and modify all of that stuff, which is great. So it's pretty intuitive down here and you can build this out however you want to. Now the point section is worth a mention here and it's basically how the points work as you transition from house to house. Uh, Real C does a great job of linking everything, so it's usually easy to click and jump from point to point. But I did have some issues right here transitioning from the living room into the outdoor patio, but more importantly, back into the master bedroom here. So if there's any issues like that where it's not linking with the flow that you want, this is where you can change that. So you can come over here, figure out what your point is. I'm point number 14. I wanted to be able to come right back in here into the bedroom, which is 15. Yes, yeah, so what you can do is you can come back down and you'll look at these different points such as 15. You can click on the setting tab over here and this will allow you to select different connection points so that you can flow more seamlessly or how you want the user experience to be dictated. Last is space snapshot, which is nice, which allows you to pull a photo or a panoramic image based on what you're seeing right here. Since everything was taken with the camera and then uploaded to the computer and up into the cloud, right? This is an extra add-on of something that you could purchase with credits, which is actually a great segue into the next section. So the add-on section right here is gonna allow you to do just that, come up with a bunch of different add-ons or deliverables that you might wanna have for your own personal use or for your clients. So you got the panoramic file right here, which I have already downloaded. It doesn't take very long, maybe like five minutes. And then now here in my folder, you're gonna be able to see that I just got a batch download of every picture that was taken along in this virtual tour. So this is the 360 panorama or an equilateral photo. Basically, if you've ever used a 360 action camera, you actually have to do this manually because this is the picture you get. You upload it to a program. You have to build out your whole virtual tour. And this is really where the benefit of the Real C camera and its interface and everything else makes the job that much quicker and easier to put it all together. And so you can see there's a lot of different add-ons that you can use to enhance your different 360 tours or deliverables giving to your customers. Raw files are definitely an option over here. Those obviously are gonna be much larger in resolution and give you more editing capability if you need or want that. Point cloud files, models, etc., different types of maps, right? And you can use all of these to your advantage. And the way this all works, if we come over here, is that there are credits that are being used and you can buy more credits. So once you have the camera, you own it, there's no monthly service fee in order to use it, but we've got these different credits that can be used and applied towards hosting your virtual tours or downloading different deliverables. And you can learn more about these by checking out this section and seeing what costs what. But if you're just getting started and you don't have a ton of business or aren't monetizing the camera as of yet, right? this is great because then you can practice, you can get comfortable with it without having to shell out a large monthly fee. And then as you grow or as you get more clients or as you work this into the pricing of your deliverables, right, you can scale with that. Overall, I'm really happy with my first test using the Real C Galois. This is one of those rare pieces of tech that just works the way you hope it will. Fast, intuitive, and surprisingly easy to get professional results right out of the box. From unboxing to a complete 3D tour, it probably took maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And this includes the setup and the upload. Scan time will vary depending on the size of the location, but the camera and the app did most of the heavy lifting. So automatic processing, aligning, and stitching of everything together without me needing to touch a single frame. And that's a huge difference compared to using a 360 action camera, such as the Insta360, which I've used many times in the past, where you're gonna have to manually stitch, adjust, and correct transitions after the fact. With the Galoi, it's all handled for you. You just upload the capture into the cloud and then the platform takes care of the rest. The backend editor is equally as impressive, offering the tools you'd expect for hosting, labeling, and customizing 3D tours without feeling cluttered or overcomplicated. Now at around $5,000, this camera isn't cheap, but it's clearly aimed at professionals or serious creators who wanna elevate their work. So for anyone in real estate, architecture, or virtual production, this could easily pay for itself through faster turnaround times and higher quality deliverables. For me, it's been an exciting first experience with the Real Seagull Light, and I'm looking forward to pushing it further, especially exploring more outdoor scans and testing some of its advanced panoramic and video fusion features next. So if you found this breakdown helpful, drop a comment down below, let me know what you'd like me to test next, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more hands-on reviews just like this.